All right, media, thank you so much for joining. On behalf of the LA Sparks, we are extremely excited to formally introduce the number three pick of the 2020 draft, uh, Lauren Cox, to our organization. Uh, we'll go right into questions, and we'll start with Rosgold and Wude with Spectrum Sportsnet. Hey, Lauren, welcome. Hi, thank you. Hey, okay, just a couple of like beginner questions. Just um, what was it like to, you know, what's been the process of getting here? How much practice <laughs> and play learning have you actually had before you stepped on that court against the Aces last game? Just curious about the process. It was very crazy. Um, I was actually driving home on Tuesday back to Texas and I was about four hours away and my agent called me and she was like so LA wants you on a flight tonight so I didn't even know what to say at that point I was just kind of shocked I didn't think it would happen that quickly um, so I got home around 5 30 I had about an hour to pack and then had to get to the airport I didn't have I didn't get to go to shoot around before the game because I had to go do my physical so I stepped on the court without even meeting my teammates coming here for the game was the first time I've met most of them. Um, no practice time. Um, they were like, our offense is basic. You'll understand. <laughs> and I'm just really grateful to my teammates because they were helping me out a lot on the court. They were telling me go here, go there. So that was really helpful and made it easy for me. Um, can you tell me a little bit about I think your first bucket came from the hands of Taya Cooper. Um, were you aware of that? Was it something that you kind of next time on? Yeah, or, you know, t tell me about the, um, I guess, connection you two have from college to now and that bucket. Yeah, I think it definitely helps that we have spent time together in college. Um, I know it's been a while since then, but um, we do kind of have that connection. So it was fun just to be out there with her again, get to see her again. and. Um, I'm sure the Baylor fans loved it. Uh, um, and last one for me is just, you know, you're still young in your career. Um, and I often ask young players, what is it that you're learning about being a pro in the WNBA? And, you know, what are the things that, you know, you feel are really come, you're, have really come along with your game so far? And what are the things you're working on? Um, I think I'm working on just a little bit of everything, um, kind of, trying to make my outside shot more consistent. Um, I've learned that the game is super physical. Um, it's really fast. So just coming into an environment like this, I'm trying to learn from all the great vets that this team has, um, from NECA to Chine to Zowie B, like everyone that's in my position, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can from all of them. Thanks, Roz. We'll go over to Rashawn Haylock with Spectrum Sportsnet. Hey, Lauren, welcome to LA. Thank you. Um, how would you describe the journey from your draft night to where you are today? Um, unexpected. I did not expect anything that has happened to me um, yet from getting COVID, being late to the bubble last year, all the injuries that I've overcome. Um, it's definitely been a lot, um, but I am happy with where I am now. I'm super grateful to the Sparks organization, Coach Fisher, Michael Fisher, everyone that has brought me here today. Um, what haven't we've been able, well, I mean, the other night you come right here, you get right off a plane, you play a career high minutes. <laughs> um, what, what, what was, you know, kind of that moment like and, and what haven't, what are you excited about perhaps maybe, you know, Sparks fans getting a chance to see that you have yet to be able to showcase throughout your career? Um, I'm excited for them to see that I can do a little bit of everything. Um, defense was kind of my thing in college um, and, I'm excited to kind of get that back going, um, blocking shots, all that kind of stuff. And then I think I can step inside, outside, um, make those outside shots um, and just do whatever this team needs me to do in order to win. 
And then that last one for me, um, can you kind of speak to some of the off the court stuff you're doing? Um, I know you've been recognized in the past with you know the work that you've done with your sister, with um, you know type one. Uh, obviously, that's something that's very near and dear to you and important to you. Um, can you kind of just take us through you know some of the stuff that you're doing off the floor? Yeah, I mean, I've always been a big advocate for type one. Um, been living with it since I was seven years old and. Um, I think right now, the biggest thing is just meeting people that come to the games, whether they have a daughter or son, niece, nephew, friend, whoever it is that has type one that they're bringing them to the game. I love to meet them after, you know, take pictures, talk to them, things like that. And um, I don't know much about the JDRF following out here in LA, but I'm looking forward to getting started out here with that. Thank you. Thanks for Sean. We'll go to Ethan Sands of the Los Angeles Times. Hi, Lauren. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. So we briefly touched on your connection with Taya, but did having that connection at Baylor calm any nerves over the process of having to go from Texas to LA in such a short amount of time? I think it definitely did. Um, just knowing that I know someone on the team, um, and with Erica too, she wasn't in the bubble with us last year, but got to know her a little bit. Um, so just knowing that I do know some people, um, but everyone has been really open, welcoming, um, have kind of been talking to me, talking me through it um, on the court, off the court. So it's just been a really good and easy transition. Thanks, Ethan. We'll go to John W. Davis of Windsider. Hi, good morning, Lauren. I had two questions for you. The first one's pretty simple. What do you want to prove to yourself and others? I just want to show people what I can do and what I bring to the table. Um, like I said, I kind of do a little bit of everything. So whatever the team needs me to do, I'm going to do it. I I don't care about the scoring. I'm not trying to get 20 points a game. If I don't score at all, but I get 10 rebounds and a couple blocks, like that's that's what makes me happy. So just doing whatever I can to help this team. And I want people to see that. Pepper Bursley with the next. Hi, Lauren, it's great to see you. Um, so I was just wondering, I'm sure the past couple of days have been a little stressful for you, and but through all of that, how do you stay positive? I have been leaning on my family, my friends, um, and like I said, this team has just been great for me. They've been really welcoming, welcoming me with open arms. Um, so it's just been really great, the leadership that this team has and like I said, just talking me through things has made things a lot easier. And one last question. How was practice today? You know, still adjusting to the Sparks, your teammates, the coaching staff? Um, it was good. I This is the first time I've stepped on the court um, for practice with them. So just kind of getting to talk through defense, talk through a couple plays, um, that was really good for me. Thanks, we'll go to Caroline Bullock. Hi, Lauren. So with your defensive accolades in college, how valuable is it for you to be coming into a team like LA with such a strong defensive identity and getting to be around players like Brittany Sykes, Taya Cooper, who've both talked about um, wanting to be on the all defensive team, defensive player of the year. How is that for you and fits in with your game? It means a lot because that's, what I came from in college. Um, we focused on defense and we were a huge defensive team. So now being on a team that feels that same way, um, it means a lot. And I think a lot of things out there on the court start with defense. Thank you. We have time for just a couple more. We'll, we'll go back to uh, Ethan with the LA Times. Uh, so with more injury servicing, unfortunately for the sports, your play will already be a key aspect for the sports. What's your mindset to being an already vital portion for a team that you just joined? It means a lot and does a lot for my confidence because um, I know that Coach Fisher believes in me because if he didn't, I wouldn't have gone out there and 
played 18 minutes that game um, without having any knowing any offense, knowing the defense, anything like that. So it just means a lot to have a coach like that that really believes in me. And your post presence will be a big help, especially since the Sparks have already been playing with a smaller lineup. How excited are you to team up with Amanda Zowie be in the post and helping control the paint on both ends of the floor? I'm really excited. Um, Zowie B is a great player, a great leader. Um, I'm really excited to learn from her as much as I can. And I think it's going to be fun this year. I'll go back to John. Hi, Lauren. From your perspective, you know, what do you think happened in Indiana to cause them to part ways with you? And then also when you were sitting in LA on June 3rd for the fever, did you ever think you know, less than a month later, you'd be playing for the Sparks? Um, well, to answer your first question first, no, I did not. Um, I, it was very unexpected what happened, um, but past is in the past. I'm super excited, super grateful for this new opportunity that the organization has given me. And I'm just excited to move on and um, start helping this team as much as I can. Uh, thank you. We have time for one more. We'll go to Gabby Ducharme with LASparks.com. Hey, Lauren. Uh, welcome to Los Angeles, first off. And uh, second off, I just want to end off by asking, what are you most looking forward to off the basketball court now that you're on the West Coast, you're in California, and it's, I mean, it's the summertime now. So what are you most looking forward to in life off the basketball court? I think the biggest thing is just getting to know my new teammates. Um, I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that this team is really close and they all care about each other. And I'm just really excited to get to know everyone and become a part of the family. Thank you so much, Lauren. And thanks everyone for joining. Thank you.